Well, let me, let me start by saying, um, you know, Lynchburg is really unique and interesting in that it is a city of neighborhoods and, and recognizes that it's a city of neighborhoods. Um, and I think there's a value in Lynchburg on building strong neighborhoods. I think our comp plan recognizes that there are over 40 unique neighborhoods in this city. Um, so you may ask, uh, why Diamond Hill? Why now? Um, and I think Diamond Hill is really, it's a gem of a neighborhood. Um, it's one of our early original neighborhoods. And uh, I think it's, it's, it's really time for reinvesting in the neighborhood. Um, so I'm looking at the neighborhood um, with the residents, trying to see the neighborhood and its, and its different physical elements. So we're really looking at um, you know, a planning framework that revolves around these five physical elements. Um, there is housing, um, the, the places where we you know, raise our families. Uh, we have our anchor institutions. Um, so these are the places that residents, um, you know, socialize where they are um, celebrations, education. So we're talking about schools, churches, um, community centers. So um, that is a really important aspect of neighborhood life. Third thing is our uh, neighborhood marketplace. Where do people go for the goods and services they need on a daily basis um, in Diamond Hill? Uh, the fourth thing uh, we're looking at is our parks and historic resources. So. Diamond Hill, um, again, a lot of rich historic resources here in this um, very old neighborhood. So, um, so there's a shared history that we're exploring in, in this process. And, and the parks that we have here, um, you know, we've got the Diamond Hill Neighborhood Center and Park, but we also have uh, community schoolyards that we're looking at. Um, and, um, you know, our anchor institutions, we're, we're very um, fortunate in this neighborhood to have so many well-established organizations. We've got the um, R.S. Payne Elementary School. We've got Dunbar Middle School. Uh, there's the um, Hunt and Randolph Community Center. Um, we've got the Diamond Hill Baptist Church, which is over 150 years old. And of course, the Diamond Hill Neighborhood Center. So uh, these anchor institutions are a really important part of, of neighborhood life. Um, and so I think finally then we've got the community streets. These are the hallways of the neighborhood. Um, and so we're looking at um, just creating a, a safe neighborhood street environment, safe for everyone, including pedestrians. So what does that look like? So these are the questions and the, the physical features that we're exploring through the neighborhood planning process is that a plan, a neighborhood plan, is a vision for the future. And working through this process with the neighborhood residents and stakeholders over the course of this year, uh, we're really, again, just learning to see the neighborhood, learning to identify what the challenges are, what some of the strategies to address those challenges will be. And the plan is what gets us to the starting line. Um, Plan implementation is going to require everyone's support in, in the process. To, to bring that vision into reality is, uh, is going to require all the, the residents and the stakeholders who've been on board along the way throughout the planning process. I think neighborhood planning is really unique in that you get to look at things that impact people on, in their day-to-day -day lives. And so I find that really satisfying. Um, being able to look at the nuances and the uniqueness of this neighborhood, um, it, it's been really quite a discovery. Finding the, um, the vantage points, of which there are so many um, in Diamond Hill, looking at the, um, the, the wonderful architecture and the diversity uh, materials and people here. Um, I, I find that, you know, just to be a fascinating process and then I'm very happy to be a part of it.